Hi, this is a new video to show my new hairstyle, which you can see is different from the pink one I used to rock um, for the summer. It's ombre effect and I just got the wee fit in yesterday. I got in basically three packs of the Madame, can't really see it, but it was a little bit lighter than this colour actually, it was more like a colour four. This is a virgin Brazilian, but it was basically what I got put in yesterday was a colour for Madame, um, Madame Brazilian Weft in colour four. But because it was colour four, it's been processed, so it was processed hair. So you can hear buses going by, it's great. <laughs> um, so basically I got put in and I got a centre parting done, okay? But I don't always like my centre parting, so um, today I've just styled it a different way. What I did actually is I pulled one weft over my centre parting and then I cut a bit of hair off a normal weft and I folded it and glued it right where on the very edge of the last track at the top, if you know what I mean, because that's the one that you sometimes think is showing. So I folded the hair into sort of like a loop. I took a quite a few strands of hair, um, bunched it, folded it into a sort of O shape, and then put it right at the top of the very first weft so it wasn't showing the strip. And that basically means that I can wear it as a centre parting or as a side parting. You can kind of see what I did there, kind of, but not very well. Anyhow, so this video is more about the ombre effect that I achieved I basically got the weave done using the Madame uh, Brazilian hair process, colour 4. It was 20 inches. I just got three packs of 20 inches, this time for the layers, you know, rather than 16, 14, 12, whatever, you know, just all the same length. Then last night I was like, okay, let me just do this ombre effect thing. Very simple. Ombre effect is so simple, I don't know why more people don't do it. What you need, creme peroxide, this is what I used, 9%, okay, and I used one of these sachets, it's basically the, the bleach, the powder bleach, uh, you can just use a packet, mix it all up together, one of these, using a little brush, mix it all together, um, I think the ratio you need to mix it is 25% bleach to 75% peroxide. So that's the ratio. You should always have one to three. Okay. That's one bleach and three peroxide. Yeah. So that was the ratio I used and it was all mixed up basically and put on my hair. It took me about maybe half an hour to apply it. I went round once. I just started at the very end. I'm not going to show you how I did it because it's so simple. Just started putting that mixture using gloves obviously putting that mixture here at the very ends and I did that all the way around just little section by little section did that all the way around um, and then after I'd done the whole thing I went a little higher up so say it came to here I would go a little higher up and then I just took like random maybe that bit there and I just dab a bit on there it was very random and it wasn't very organized but hey ho that's the way I like to do it that's where I like to create so um, I just did it and then when that was done I got my foil you know kitchen foil I would show you what foil looks like but I'm sure you know and I took basically a section and separated it into three and um, took a section wrapped it round so it was like that bit would be wrapped in foil move on to the next bit, wrap that round, foil, 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 make sure it was all scrunched up. I applied heat, I blasted it with a hairdryer, okay? Because the bleach, sometimes it needs a little bit of heat to activate it. So I had three bit sections, you know, my hair in sections, blasted with a hairdryer on each side, I have two hair dryers, so I was like, Rrr, for the last um, 15 minutes. So basically this is what I did, I mixed up the, um, the concoction of the bleach and the peroxide, applied that, went a little bit higher after I applied it the first time so it was a few inches a little bit more at the front um, that took me about half an hour left it for 15 minutes after actually I'd wrapped it in the aluminium so it was sitting in the aluminium for like 15 minutes 
then for the last 15 minutes of that half hour that it was going to sit on my hair in total to process the bleach and the peroxide after I'd applied it, I blasted it with a hair dryer. So mix, apply, put in foil, leave to sit for 15 minutes, and then last 15 minutes blast with hair dryers. And that was it, literally, that was it. I put that on and I rinsed it out, you know, I basically made sure it was all out and then I put on the herbal essences. Um, it's a curl thing, but you can use Hello Hydration as well. All over the hair after I rinsed it all out and put the conditioner on. I left the conditioner on for maybe another half an hour, you know. And then after that, I just rinsed it out. I just rinsed it all out um, and I dried it. I let it dry for a little bit and then I used the hair dryer a little bit and you're drying and dry, 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 dry. So basically it was all dry and then today, this morning when I woke up, it was completely dry. So I basically wanted to style it this morning when I woke up. I was quite happy with the colour because you know at the other roots you can see it's a colour four. I love it, it looks so moisturized, doesn't it? It's great. Um so you can see up here it's a colour four and my own hair is more a colour four, but then at the ends it's the bleach. I might get a highlighting kit. So just randomly, I mean I'm happy with the colour but if I want to put like little bits of extra bleach or little bits of highlights through it I could probably do that. But I'm quite happy with this, you know, I think for, for winter, for Christmas coming up, you know, it's going to be festive colours and pinks. The old pink I had in my hair was great for summer but I think for the clothes I'm going to be wearing it's going to be darker. Um, I, I don't think I really want to wear pink for winter. So ombre effect for for um for this winter I think 2012 but this is it what it looks like today I'm quite happy with it the hair itself is actually deep wave Brazilian so I wanted to straighten it because I was a bit tired of the deep wave and I think the deep wave is great because it gives you volume even when it's a bit straightened it gives you much more volume than the straight would and yeah it just makes sense so that's my video on how I did my ombre effect for the winter autumn 2012. Okay, bye.